Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope that you are doing well. What we're going to do today, Flavor Twisters, we are going to make some delicious stuffed pork chops. And this is a semi-homemade recipe. Um, the pork chops will be the homemade pork. And the semi-homemade will be the stovetop stuffing for pork. Okay? But this is going to be a delicious recipe, guys. Um, you have to try this for yourself. Now, in front of me, I have some beautiful thick-cut, center-cut pork chops. I have some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, seasoning salt, cumin, black pepper, and I have some sage and poultry seasoning over here. Now, what I'm going to do, well, in this dish, I have a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of paprika. I have a tablespoon of seasoning salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to mix that all together, and we're going to put it on our pork chops to season our pork chop. And I also have some butter here. And that's what I'm going to put in um, the stovetop stuffing and also over the pork chops when they're cooking. So hold on, guys, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did with the stuffing. Okay, guys, in the pot, I have a half a stick of butter and one and a half cups of water to prepare the stovetop stuffing. The only difference is I always add just a little bit of seasoning, more seasoning to it. So I have some ground sage. I'm going to sprinkle that in. Always doctor it up a little bit. And I have some poultry seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of that in. Here we go. Now also, I am going to add some ground black pepper. Okay. Ground some pepper in. I always like to doctor it up some. Okay. So now while that's blending in, then I am going to turn this fire off of that and we are going to add our stuffing mix. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is let this cool down while I season our pork chops. Okay, so there you have it for the stovetop stuffing. Quick and easy, guys. It's not rocket science. It's make it per package. And if you want to, just like I did, add some more sage and poultry seasoning and black pepper. Okay, now let's get back to these pork chops. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now let's get this seasoning mixed up for the um, pork chops. Just mix it up, and we're going to pour this over, over the chops, okay? All right, that seems to be good enough. Now, what we're going to do, let me move this out the way, and I'm going to show you just how I'm going to season them. Now, what I did too also, guys... These are pretty thick pork chops, so when I brought these in the store, I had the butcher put a slice in them, um, and you can see they're opened up like that, and that's where we're going to put the stuffing at. So I did that, and with every, had him do that with all four pork chops. So what I want to do is, maybe I'll get a spoon for this. Okay. Now take a little bit of that seasoning and we're going to sprinkle it on the inside of each pork chop. Okay. And then we're going to do the outside. Okay, and just rub that in. Flip them over. 
and do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to finish seasoning these pork chop guys and then I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back. Now I have our pork chops here. Let me see if you can see this. And I have the stovetop stuffing. Now if you're going to make more than maybe four pork chops, if you're doubling the recipe, I would use two boxes. So what we have here, I have the pork chops. And what I'm going to do is start filling them with this stuffing. I have gloves on because it can get a little messy. And just put it in there. Okay. These are going to be so good, guys. Okay, and just put the pork chop back over like that. Trying to move it around so you can see. Okay. And I'm trying to get a nice amount in there. Basically, I'm using a quarter of that stuffing to go in each chop. Okay, that's two. I'll use this half. Put it in there. And I like these type of chops, guys, and it has the bone in it because it, it gets, gives it more flavor than the boneless. And they're easy to use. Okay. Now the last one. And this is the rest of the dressing. That's why I said if you're going to use do more than this, you're going to probably need two boxes. I knew I only had four chops, so I only used one pack. Okay. Here we have it. Now what I'm going to do is probably secure these with a toothpick because I'm going to sear these off in the pan. And I forgot to tell you guys, I have some olive oil here and I'm gonna put it with that butter and we're gonna put it in the pan to sear these off before we put these in the oven. Okay, get some toothpicks. Okay. You just want to make sure it's closed. That's all. Just put it in there like that. Let me see. There we go. And there's nice and secure. So your dressing won't fall out in the pan when you're um, searing them off. Okay, go down in there and then go back up like that. Okay. Alrighty. Push it down in and bring it back up. Okay. It'll be nice and secure. Okay. Alrighty. So there you have it, guys. Now we're going to go over to the stove. Okay, guys, I'm over at the stove. I have three tablespoons of that stick of butter, and I am putting that in the pan. And what we're going to do is pour about a tablespoon of olive oil. There you go. So what we want to do is sear these pork chops off. And guys, when it comes to the pork chops, you can buy them thick and slice them yourself. But I know the butcher, and since I was right there in the store, um, I just had him slice them for me. But it's not hard to slice. Just make sure your pork chops are thick enough. Okay? Now, these are pretty big chops. I'm going to only put two of them in there at a time to sear them off. Yeah, these are big. Look at that. Okay. Now, let these sear and get brown. And it'll probably take about 
six minutes, five to six minutes on each side. And it, and it is on medium. So I'm gonna brown these off on each side, guys. And then I'll do the other two and I'll show you what we're gonna do with them after that. Okay, guys, it had been five minutes. So what I'm going to do is flip these over. Mmm, yum, look at that, guys. That's how you want it. And we're going to sear the other side. And then I'll do the other two pork chops. Okay, there we go. Mmm, yum. These are pretty thick, guys. So I'm going to sear these on this side for five minutes. And then we're going to take them out. And I'll do the other two. Then I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with these. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, look at our beautiful pork chops. Now, what I'm going to do now, I have a half a stick of butter. I'm going to take a half a stick of this butter. I have five cloves of garlic that I put in my garlic press. And I have some fresh parsley. And what I'm going to do is make a garlic butter sauce to go to pour over these pork chops before we put them in the oven. So... The new name for these stuffed pork chops is Garlic Butter Stuffed Pork Chops. Okay. So, I have a half a stick of butter. Let me get the camera over here. I have a half a stick of butter in there. And I'm going to melt this and I'm going to pour in the garlic and the parsley. And then we're going to pour it over our pork chops. Okay. And while that's doing that, let me put this garlic in. You just want to let it get fragrant. This is going to be so good, guys. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Okay. Now melt this. Mmm, this garlic smells so good. Okay, finish the butter. Now, what we want to do now is pour in that fresh parsley. Okay. Oh my God, this is garlic. Mmm. Okay. And we're only going to do this a few about another minute just until it gets nice and fragrant rich with this already because it smells so good okay now I'm going to turn the fire off guys and we're going to pour this over the pork chops okay guys now let's spoon this over our pork chops Mmm, yum. This is going to be so good. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. And what we're going to do is bake these in the oven for about 30 minutes. No longer than 35 minutes. And they'll be nice and tender. Look at that, guys. Mmm, pour that butter over. Mmm, yum, yum. This garlic is so fragrant. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to cover this with some foil. And we're going to bake this in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes until our pork chops are nice and juicy. See you then. Well, hi guys, I'm back. Our pork chops was in the oven for exactly 30 minutes, but I'm just looking at these guys and testing them. These pork chops are pretty thick, so I'm going to put them in there for another 30 minutes just to be sure, and that will be a total cooking time of one hour at 350 degrees. See you in 30 more minutes. Okay, guys, I am back. So our pork chops was in the oven at 350 degrees for exactly um, one hour. 
So what we're going to do now, look at this, guys. And I let them cool off for about 15 minutes. Look at that, guys. Isn't they beautiful? Mmm, yum. Oh, my goodness. So we definitely have to taste these. Let me get a fork. Let's dip one of these babies up. Look at this, guys. Look at that. You can see the stuffing on the inside. This one's for you guys. Here we go. Mmm, yum. I don't even know where to cut this baby at. Oh, look how easy that cut. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me right now? Look at that, and you can see the stuff. And look at the pork. Look at that. Oh, my God. I'm ready to kiss myself right now. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Mmm, yum. Mmm, look at that. Oh, my. And it's juicy, guys. Mmm. Yes, it is. And look at that stove top. Let's get some of this. Mmm. Mmm. And what it did, guys, it got the seasoning. Um, it took on the flavoring of the pork, the juices, that butter garlic. Oh, my goodness. I'm ready to eat this whole chop. Here we go. And why do I got this plate? And I keep forgetting that my counter tops are real marble. So stuff just slides across. And I should have had a dish towel up there. Here we go. Look at that, guys. Look at that meat. Mm. And it's not dry. It's tender. It's juicy. Oh, my goodness. You have to make this for your family, guys. Oh, get some of that stove. And this stove top tastes real good. Oh, look at me, darling. I thought I pulled all the toothpicks out. <laughs> My husband said, don't forget the toothpicks. I'm lucky I only put one in each one. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. I can't quit eating this. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. So, like I said, we, we renamed this recipe. It's um, flavors with a twist. Garlic butter pork chops. Make this for your family, guys. Go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up on this one. And the reason why I said this one's for you guys, um, I've been doing this um, YouTube cooking show. I started back in um, 2021. It's 2023 now. And I just wanted to thank you, thank all of my subscribers for riding with me all this time and for believing in me and for um, just trying my recipes. A lot of you have cooked the recipes that I have put up and you said that they were delicious. And I really appreciate your feedback. Um, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love all you guys and I'm going to continue to kick out delicious recipes that like this one right here in front of you. Um, I learned to cook off of my mom. My mom was literally a coal miner's daughter from Willing, West Virginia. They raised their own food, their vegetables, everything. So I learned from her. God rest my mom's soul. She was 97 when she passed in 2020. So it's like I got a lot of her recipes in my head because I used to stay in the kitchen with her all the time. So um, I want to share these recipes with you guys. And again, thank you. Thank you very much for riding with me all this time and before believing in me and just hanging in there with me. It really means so much to me. And I love all you guys. And thank you very much. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.